Earl's back, and he's back with vengeance. Welcome back, folks. Thanks for tuning in and keeping it here. I do appreciate that. I put some new lights in. I think they're a little brighter, those old ones. All right, you remember this guitar right here? Martin D28. There's a bad nick right here. Actually, there's two of them. There's one there, too. And, uh, you know, but as I like to say it, I told you all about it before. The guitar was in a stand, and I had a bag, a Walmart bag, like, uh, full, uh, not full, it had a bunch of uh, D-cell batteries in the bag. And it was sitting beside the guitar for whatever reason. I needed to pick it up and move it on the other side of the guitar. Picked it up. Everything was fine. Started to move across the guitar just as soon as I got over top of this guitar. The bag busted. Batteries hit the top. And knocked these two discs in. It made a hellacious noise. It's a wonder to me it didn't do a lot worse than that. <laughs> Honestly. But anyways, I'll get you before I start on it. They're getting bigger. Those discs are getting bigger. So I'm going to uh, just uh, take, try to take care of that. Seal that so it doesn't get any bigger. Or make any pro problem in the future. But first, get you. I'm going to get you. And I'll show you. Uh, let you have a look at them first. Let me do that first. Hold on. All right. The power stays on, man. <laughs> Having a windstorm outside. A major windstorm. And the lights flickering and crap. There's one of the places. You can really feel that. And the other one is right there. I could uh, Batteries run down on the camera. It would be, of course. So I've got it plugged in right now, and it's charging, that's why. And that's as close as I can get you. Maybe I can zoom in on it. You see there? Pretty, pretty nasty nicks. And the other one is right there. I tried steaming this one out, and there's just too much fiber missing. It knocked a piece of, piece of the finish out, and some wood fibers out as well same right here that one actually feels a little bit worse this one here feels worse than this one does i think so let's tackle that all right right there and right here i've decided to use a very watery thin viscosity ca glue for this Someone asked me the other day, why don't I use uh, Glue Boost? And I do use Glue Boost. I've been out of it for a long time. And I need to order more of it. I don't have any right now. But I am going to order more. I have used it and I like it very well. This is very expensive tape right here. It's made by 3M. Made in USA. The only thing it says is 3M and then it's got a number 471. It's like a Teflon or nylon tape very good stuff I've used it for a long time I'm going to cut this without cutting my finger off this nice doll there we go and all I'm going to do is put tape all around that puppy CA glue will not stick to this tape. It will not stick to it. There's not supposed to anyways. We're going to find out. We are going to find out here just shortly. If it sticks to it or not. I won't hold you here for this. i got to take this other one back here up too. And, and I'll bring you back. Better leave a little way to get a hold of that shit because I mean it sticks on there, man. I'm going to run two pieces this way, and then same thing back here, and I'll bring you back, and we'll get into it. Hold on. All right. I've got the tape folded on the end so I can get it off quick. The rags is just so... This, this thin, super thin viscosity goes everywhere, man. If you spill that shit, splash is really easy. And I want to get that tape off of there as quickly as possible. You don't want to leave that on there. It won't. It's not supposed to stick to it. But you know, you, you don't want to 
push your luck any more than you have to, you know what I mean? <laughs> that came off pretty easy. Let me just let this set up. I hope the lights don't go off, man. They've been flickering on and off pretty much all day, and I almost didn't do this video because of it. Because of them flickering. Oh yeah, I think that looks pretty good. I got some really heavy, heavy duty magnifying shades here. Oh yeah. We gotta get that sealed folks. I decided to do one at a time. Because you got when you get that glue on there, you need to get the tape off as quickly as you can. That looks perfect. I'm gonna let that set up. And then I'll bring it back and uh, we'll start smoothing it over. And I'll probably wait for another night to do this one here, another day, because I'm just afraid the power's going to go off and I can't see shit. I mean, I need a lot of light, man, to be able to see. And, and you know, it's just bad if the power goes off in the middle of making a video. That is not fun. <laughs> so, I guess we'll wait for it to dry and I'll bring you back. Okay, so I went ahead and did them both. I'm not going to finish them both tonight. I don't know if you can see the glue. See them? Right there's the one, and here's the other one. Just waiting for the glue to set up. That's thin viscosity, super thin, super thin viscosity CA glue. And uh, I don't want to hit that with accelerator because it's, usually it makes it turn white. I've heard people say, wait 10 seconds or something, and then spray it, and it won't turn white. That must depend on the kind of glue it is, because that didn't work for me. Not on this occasion, but another time, another job. So I'm going to wait, man. I'll bring you back once it's hardened up. While we're waiting on that glue to dry, I've got a razor blade here. And I took the blade. It's, it's got scotch tape on it right now, okay? Uh, before I put the scotch tape on it, I ran it across a piece of metal. And that creates a burr. Let's see which side's the, or there's the side the burr is on. Uh, but I want to because I built that up quite a bit. You know, I want to put quite a bit of tape on this razor blade, so I'm just going to leave that tape on there that's on there and uh, wrap a couple pieces of this on it like so. And, and then when I start getting close, I can peel this tape off and only use the scotch tape to get closer. If I can get that off without tearing the scotch tape off. And all I'm going to do is just, uh, I left a tiny place in the center of the blade. See there? See them? <laughs> I don't know if that focused or not. Yeah, there. Maybe you can see it now. That center part of the blade right there. And I'm going to scrape that to start with until I get it down about level. Then I'll take this uh, blue tape off, scrape it some more with the scotch tape, and then we'll see about uh, maybe sandpaper or buffing it. I may, I, you know, I've been wanting to try those uh, fret erasers on something like that. Real high grit. If I could find them. Yeah, here they are. Might do that it, after this. But anyways, we'll see. It's coming. We'll see. We'll find out. Stay tuned. Check it out, man. Windstorm. God, it's cold out here, too. I know you can't see anything. Not enough light. Maybe you can hear it. <laughs> Every time I open the door to show it, it quits. Every time. 60 mile an hour wind gusts. Oh, well. I tried. <laughs> All right. Well, the glue was just taking too long to dry, so I shot it with accelerator, and you can see it now. It turned. And this was like after I waited 30 minutes after I put it on there. I, I've seen people on YouTube before say, "Wait 10 minutes or five, or I forget what it was. Wait, and then shoot accelerator on it, and it won't turn white." Well, the kind of glue I'm using, it's Stumax, by the way. I waited 30 minutes, hit it with accelerator, and it dries, but it's white. <laughs> All right, let's see if we can scrape it down a little bit. That's pretty good. 
time, so it's going to have to go a little bit at a time here. Oh, the whiteness might disappear. I don't know if you can see that or not. Now, we got a bit of a burr on this, remember. It, uh, you can see right there what we scraped off. I don't think it'll scrape if I turn it this way. Yeah, it is, it is but not as good with that burr on there. in both directions anyway. Every time that blade passes over the glue wears it down. <laughs> see, I, I don't know if you can see that, what we scraped off or not. It's taking it down though and it's removing some of the white, which is good. That stuff has always... Let me, let me try this. It's always turned white on me when I when I use the uh, uh, different brands of it, and, and if I use the accelerator, it always turns white, man. I have to find out what kind of glue does not turn white. That's getting down there for the, for this blue tape. Take the blue tape off and just scrape it with the uh, Scotch tape. Pretty good right there. No, no, it's still got a little bit. Let me scrape up in this direction. I get nothing. But if I turn the blade this way, a little bit of resistance. Wow, that's weird. Still going to be able to see this nick of this thing because when the batteries hit it, it knocked away some of the fiber, some of the fiber owner to the finish. And the reason I want to use that thin viscosity is because it will run into those fibers and under what finish was left there, bond to it. I don't know why it's catching coming back that way. Let me go at it and get rid of this. This is what we scraped off. Let me try it this, this way. I don't even feel it that way in either direction. Still feeling a little bit here. I'm going to get it down to where I don't feel it at all. Or I remove this blue tape. Uh, that's looking better. Yeah, much better. I say you're still going to be able to see it. It's still going to be there, but it's going to be sealed. It'll be sealed and it won't get any bigger. It won't grow anymore. I think that's good for the, the blue tape. See if I can get on this and I'm just going to go in the direction the burr I created first. That's removing it quite well. If you can see that, I don't know if you can see if you're seeing that in the camera or not. Every passing is removing material. This one I can feel it more But it really wasn't as bad as the other one was. All right. Hopefully you can see that right there. It's taking material away. Get as much as I can get with this blue tape. Oh, I hear heat coming. Heat is coming. Last time I looked outside. The wind was dying down. It was starting, starting to snow. We get some hellacious snowstorms here sometimes. I remember one year in October, it snowed three feet. There we go. If 
Let me get there now. Of course, I'll have to buff all this out. How you guys been doing, man? Hope all of you are well. I'll have to buff all this out. Okay, I want to remove the blue tape. It's going to be a task. I know everything is. And then I'll bring you back. Do it some more. Hold on. Well, when I pulled the blue tape off, the scotch tape part of it come off, and I couldn't get the other part off. So I got a new blade and taped it up. So I just got scotch tape on it. Let me make sure which side the burr is on. Yeah, okay, it's on this side. And you can hear it digging in. You can see that. Uh, yeah, I think you can see it. I'm just glancing up the camera. Power flashing on and off. All kinds of weird crap going on there. That burr will remove material every time you cross it. That's looking better. That's looking really good, man. Let's, let's get this one. I'm not finished with the frog. Oh, yeah. It's really cutting in there. If you, if you put a burr on the end of your razor blade, like I did here, and you want to slice, turn the blade sideways, don't scrape straight across the thing. Turn your blade sideways a little bit and it slices through it. Let me, let me see if I can hone in on that for you. That's a little bit better. Instead of going straight across with a burr, turn your blade a little bit sideways to the way you're scraping and it will, it slices through that, man. Like a snow plow on, well, on snow. <laughs> the best way I can put it. I think this one's done. I still got to buff that, of course. All right, let me adjust you in on this other one. It's right there. Yeah, it's out of the camera. Hold on. All right, this is the worst one. It's right there. Maybe I should have zoomed that out a little bit. I don't know. We're still getting good cuttage. <laughs> is that a word? Cuttage? I might try just going over this with the semi-chrome polish a little bit. You're always going to see those, but they're, oh yeah, I mean, I can barely feel those now. Before I could, this one I could feel more, and this was the worst one, actually, it's weird. You run into a lot of weird stuff doing this kind of work. I have learned that, and most of it happens when the camera is running. I'm going to go ahead and do this for a little bit, and then I'll bring you back, and we'll see about the Maybe rather than buffing it, see what the semi-chrome does to it. You know I have touted this stuff for a long time. Happy semi-chrome polish. And it does work on wood. It works well on everything and I've tried it on. But I suggest if you use it, use latex gloves, man. I've been reading a lot of stuff about this. It's really not good for your health. <laughs> not good for your health. So you might want to check into that before you use too much of it. Key here is rubbing in circular motions. This uh, rag I'm using has a rough side and a softer side. I'm going to hit it one more time with the rough side, then we'll go to the soft. And I'm not pressing on it very hard. That makes a big difference whether you press hard, medium, or light. 
and, and work a bigger area as you wipe this stuff away. Kind of blend it in with the surrounding finish. Like I say, you're still going to be able to see these. But they'll not get any worse, man. They won't get any worse than what you're seeing here. That looks good, man. That really looks good. You can still see it. I don't know if you're seeing it in the camera so much, but let me go over it once with the smooth side of this horrid cloth. <laughs> and I think we're going to be all right there. This stuff has a shelf life of a very long time. Some big guy. I'm going to get bigger here, see? I'm going to spread it out in a bigger area, blend it in. Some big guy at this company got in touch with me on a website, thanked me for saying such nice things about their product. And he wanted me to contact him on the, what is that link ID site? I'm not sure what it is. Anyways, I went there and created an account and linked with him. And he said he was really busy right then. Look at that disappear, man. Let me get to the rough side on here first. And uh, he talked like he was going to give me a, a case of this stuff or something, you know. I said, okay, man. But he was really busy at the time. He couldn't talk to me much, he said. Right then. He'd get back to me. That's why he said he'd get back to me. I said, all right, man, whatever. <laughs> he never got back to me. Of course, I don't log on to that website every day. Oh, this is moving out quickly and nicely. Yeah, let me get a little bit bigger with this. I want to take the smooth side of the rag. So I don't know if I'll hear from him again or what he had in mind exactly. Yeah, I, just, I don't know, man. I'm rubbing a little bit harder. I don't think I'm going to have to buff this. I don't think so. That's fine. Just the way it is. Good enough for me. Maybe could have went over that a little bit more with the razor blade. I can't feel them, man. Either one. Like I say, you're always going to see them, but your eye won't get sucked there anymore. And they won't get any bigger. They're sealed. Oh, that's got semi-chrome on it. Get a clean portion of the rag if there is anything like that. Rub in circular motions. Press down easy or press down hard or medium, depending on how well you want to dig in. I don't want to dig in much here. And there it is. Now it just looks like a, a blemish in the wood under the finish. That's what it looked like. So if you ever got to do any kind of this kind of work, take your time, man. Just take your time. Work your way through it. Do not get in a hurry. I've been here, I don't know, several hours in here making this video. Probably would be lucky if you get 30 minutes out of it. Be lucky if you get 20 out of it, probably. But uh, I hope that helps. Hope you uh, learned something that might help you repair dents in your finish or uh, where the finish is completely gone, which it was in this case, and wood fibers missing. Like I say, Glue Boost is a good product to use too. Uh, I'm going to order more. I've used it before and I like it. And thumbs up to whoever reminded me of it again. I just ran out of everything and hadn't, you know, never thought about it. I need to think about it and order more. Anyways, thanks for watching. Cheers to you. Happy repairs on your guitars, and I hope you get your finish fixed. Cheers. See you next time.